morning and happy Tuesday. Today so far has been absolutely amazing. Hold on, because I have two monkeys trying to climb on me. So um, this monkey is feeling better, so he's going to go to school. This monkey is a little monster this morning. Yeah, and he has and he's a baldy baby and he has two baldy hands. He is trying to go into everything he's not to go into and every time I tell him no, he just curls on the floor and cries. The terrible twos <laughs> are not supposed to happen yet. So that's what's happening. Yes. He started the day welcoming me with a nappy explosion and I, it was everywhere, which was lovely. So it's a perfect start of the day. I'm already ready for bed. Hello little baby Mario. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, Mario. <laughs> this is my turn. Hold on, just wait a minute. Uh, you can have a go properly, you just had a go. <laughs> you just want to eat the hat. <laughs> uh, off to school, I'm just going to quickly show you the oven before, just in case the man is here when I come back. So there's the hob, which is really dirty because I haven't bothered. And this is dusty. And then in here we have, as you can see, mess and all, and I will show you how it looks afterwards. Look at this monkey. The amount of concentration it takes him to manage this is crazy. Yes. Good. Come on, you're doing really good. Very good, baby. Would you like some milk, Alfie? I think you're getting tired. Do you want some milk? Oh, yeah. I think he's getting tired. I'm going to give him some milk. Hopefully, it'll go down for a nap and rest a bit. This is the oven now, and as you can see, it is just all super, super clean. And the hob, too. Um, whenever we got the house, there was a lot of rust on this ring, so that's why it's very hard to get it all off. But um, this is all clean. The filters are cleaned. They changed the lights. This is all clean. They changed the light of the oven as well. And um, so, the oven cleaning, I'm going to explain to you how it works. Um, when we bought this house, uh, the oven was in a horrible state. Basically, the house has been, had been sitting empty for about a year and there was some burnt food and food left in the oven um, for a year. So it was like completely burnt it, to the point it damaged the enamel inside the oven. And it was, no matter what cleaning products I tried, couldn't get it cleaned like properly enough and one day i think it was i can't remember if it was a friend first or my mother-in-law somebody had these people coming to their house to clean the oven and i thought why would you pay somebody to clean your oven you can just get some oven pride or something all that until i saw the result <laughs> they came to clean my oven it was like well the way it is right now uh, it was in a really bad state and they also clean like washing machines and uh, dishwashers and stuff like the inside and the pipes and all you know sometimes you can there's like mildew and stuff like that, so they can clean that too. But um, so what I basically I have like a direct debit plan where I pay a little bit of money every month um, for three items in my house. So it can be microwave, oven, hob, the extractor, extractor fan, is that what you call it? Dishwasher or washing machine, and every like and they come every six months, and they clean three of these that I want. The oven has to be one of them because they are originally oven cleaners. They just branch out after that. But um, every time, so usually I get my oven and the extractor fan because it's not something I can do on my own. And several times I've left the hob and done it myself and got them to either clean my dishwasher, my dishwasher or my washing machine. I didn't feel like the dishwasher or washing machine needed clean this time because I have done them the last two times. So I thought I'll get the um, uh, hob good clean this time. 
this is what I'm doing and to be honest uh, before I started doing that I thought it was a waste of money and you didn't need that but by the time you've paid for the cleaning products for the oven which are really expensive um, I'd rather get it done like this because it's a lot less hassle and it's not a lot of money it's like just a few pounds a month and it just gets all that done and same with the washing machine and the dishwasher I couldn't do it myself really to clean it that deep like inside the pipes and all at the back but yeah so that's my oven all clean so in this box we have clothes we have bought already in France uh, in the next size up and in this bag it's of stuff I have sorted through uh, they are and they need ironing badly but stuff I've sorted through from that used to be Owens but for example you have like some really short um, dungarees like this I mean I will keep them aside just in case he was doing like Owen now Alfie is a little baby who grows um, like suddenly but he will grow one size at a time Owen basically the clothes Alfie is wearing today Owen was wearing those when he was probably about 16 16 a month maybe not that much 14 months or something he started to wear them 14 to 18 months or something and Alfie is just over 10 months and he's wearing them uh, Owen was tiny really tiny um, and uh, Alfie seems to be growing much faster but more regularly Owen used to do like growth spot and then stay the same size for ages and then another growth spot and the same so it was very handy for clothes because you got to wear these clothes for ages Alfie is not the same at all he's just growing very regularly so what is it? Do you have hiccups? Do you want to get up and walk around a bit? Or is that you finally getting tired? Hmm? Do you want to get up? <laughs> Do you want to get up? Oh, it's second tooth is through, by the way. It's cut through the gums. You can't see it well very well because it's in the gum, but the gum is cut right beside the bottom one. So this tooth number two. And uh, and he keeps taking his socks off. With those pyjamas, uh, they are from Next. They are the snuggle fit ones. And they are our favorite pyjamas in this house. Uh, you buy the packs, you don't buy two or three. And they are mix and match, which is very handy. These were Owen's. And Owen actually still now wears that shape of pyjamas. They are so handy, they are very comfy. And we're gonna switch to pyjamas like that for Alfie now, instead of the one that have the feet. Because he's starting to try and walk and all and he can slip with the feet and also James struggles to do buttons and these have no buttons at all so it's a lot easier to change his nappy <laughs> whenever he has no buttons Baby! and he can really walk around properly with them What are you doing little monkey? Are you happy? <laughs> You're very happy You're very happy Yes <laughs> Alfie is now asleep and it's one o'clock and we need to leave in 35 minutes so that's so typical um so I'm gonna let him sleep until then. I will have to wake him up for the school run and I'm guessing then it will be a while before he falls asleep again. And we have a doctor appointment for Owen this afternoon at 4.40. So I'm hoping he goes back down for a nap quite a bit before that. So he's awake for then. Otherwise, he's going to be grumpy. Um, before I go and pick up Owen, I'm going to explain to you quickly uh, why we're going to the doctor this afternoon. If you watched the vlog for a long time, like in I think it was early December, we went to the hospital with Owen for an ENT specialist appointment because we suspect he has glue ears. Glue ears means that there is some stickly fluid that gets collects at the back of his eardrum and prevents it to vibrate properly. And the only reason why we think that is that you probably noticed Owen has um, pronunciation issues. He doesn't pronounce some sounds properly and uh, he also sometimes speaks really loud and can't hear us properly so we know there's something not right with his ears 
he's been referred to see a speech therapist through the school to improve his pronunciation but before they start the sessions they need to make sure his hearing is fine or if there is a hearing issue what it is to work with it um, and when we went to do the tests what they tested was uh, there was a physical examination of the inside of his ear and there was a test that was checking how much vibration uh, there is in his eardrum uh, whenever you have glue ear you expect very little vibration or none and Owen has absolutely no vibration in his eardrum no flexibility in it uh, there's vibration obviously but there's no his eardrum is not flexible at all which would indicate that something is either physically pre preventing it from vibrating or that there's something not right so it showed that his eardrum is not vibrating so it confirms that there is a hearing issue but when there was an examination, the specialist told us there was absolutely no fluid, so it wasn't glue ear. So we don't know what the problem is. We are all still convinced it is glue ear. The GP, the school, us, and the health visitor. Uh, glue ear does come and go. So I'm guessing what could have happened is that at the time, he was at the end of it, or it uh, hasn't started again. So he was... His, Eardrum was still affected, but the fluid wasn't there anymore, if you know what I mean. Anyway, where I'm going with this is that the result of this, because we had one of the tests telling us he has glue ear, and the second one telling us he doesn't, it was, like, ruled inconclusive. So, you have to have more in-depth hearing tests, and this is going to happen next week on Thursday. I'm going to bring him back to the hospital, and we're going to stay there for an hour to an hour and a half, and have quite a lot of tests. <coughs> Before he can do those tests, just to make sure the results are accurate, we need to go to the GP, which is happening this afternoon. We're probably only going to see the nurse, I'm not too sure. They need to check that there's no wax in the ears that could prevent the sound from working properly so then it gives accurate test results so this is why we're going to the gp it was a long story to explain to you so it was sunny when i left i don't know if you can see no it's a hail hail shower we well, look at just ice on it. That's okay, that's like water. water. Wow! <laughs> that was crazy, wasn't it? Yeah! But this ice it was super water. sunny. Super, super sunny and clear. And this one cloud came over and it was a hail a, uh, cloud. A, a, super, a super ice maze cloud. And I put it in the ice maze. And it has all the ice. Yeah. Whew. <laughs> so we we had to have a little run to get back in, didn't we? Yeah. <laughs> that was a little bit mad. I'm gonna hang the coats. Everything that was is so. Close. I know. It's too close. We need to go to freezing. We <laughs> need to go to freezing. Yeah. Oh, we're all right. I'm gonna shake out of his buggy. Look at that. I'm gonna try and focus on this. There is a raindrop it with do, some do, ice do, in it. I can't. Do, 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 with all, all the icy spaghetti. Yeah. And Can you see the way there's ice inside the raindrops? Mm. Yeah. So cool. Mm. This is the laundry situation in this room for now. We're off to the doctor's now for Owen's ears. I'm going to have to wake Alfie up yet another time. Woohoo! Hello, we're finished at the doctor. So Alfie is now awake and kicking me. Do you want to say how it went at the doctor's or when? So too quick. <laughs> too quick. What? I'll translate. There was a little bit of ear wax at the uh, at the start of his ear, but his eardrum is definitely clear, so they can do the tests. And it means we came here to basically do okay. no nothing. But I decided to do my post office run at the same time instead of doing it tomorrow. So then I have one less thing to do tomorrow. And also, leaving the car, I folded the buggy with my finger inside the folding part. And I destroyed half of my finger. And it really, really hurts. But I'll be alright. But then you're gonna plaster. No, because I'm not cut. I probably will have a big bruise on it. But I am gonna be okay, don't worry. Now we go home. Yeah. I'm gonna finish all the laundry craziness because the laundry, <laughs> laundry madness in the living room, isn't it, Owen? Yes, yes, yes. 
And uh, we're going to give some food to little Alfisha over there. Yes, and then we're going to do it tomorrow. We're going to get wine birthday time. That's why we have to get wine birthday time. Why? Because it's wine birthday. Yeah. Next week. On Saturday. Yeah. Owen was invited to one of his friends' uh, birthday party on and, Saturday. Yes, yeah. and it was Ryan party, and he's still in my class. Yeah, he's in your class. He's your friend, isn't he? Yeah. Laundry situation update. So this is all of the clothes that um, will fit Alfie. Apart, well, there's quite a lot of vests, though, that are a bit on the smaller side. About 15 of them, uh, which will not... Well, uh, as soon as I have new ones, basically, I will remove those. This is clothes for all of us that are clean and tidy and all. This box is all the stuff I am going to put in the attic I want to keep because they have a sentimental value. And this big bag is stuff to donate to some of my friends. And this big bag, but there's more upstairs uh, from Owen's clothes, is for charity for the minute. Um, there will be more charity clothes, like I have a bag with Owen's clothes I went through and there will be a bag from James's clothes that is upstairs as well but yeah I have baskets everywhere but everything is sorted through and I'm very pleased I've done that and um, I'm gonna get dinner ready for both of them now and then try and relax a little bit so after a few hours looking through various websites I have ordered the clothes we need uh, there's just a few things for Owen and then quite a few things for Alfie and um, I found everything between Next and Mother Care so that should be I went for kind of the minimum amount of clothes we need for him but I'm hoping it will be enough because then we'll have to buy more clothes like for summertime I don't know if he will continue to grow as fast I think it will slow down a little bit but we will need clothes for when we go to France anyway it might be the size up then but we'll just see then I will probably buy most of the stuff at the last minute and just stick to the bare minimum because he's never going to get to wear in Northern Ireland the stuff he will wear in France. So, yes, I went. Oh, it's time to do the crazy trick, everybody. Oh, well, but can you show us what the crazy shake is? What did you do for doing the crazy shake? Now that you interrupted my speech, you're going to have to perform. to perform. What is a crazy shake? Um, come on, come on. Here, come on. Can you show us? Are you, are you rewinding the video to do it? That's what you're doing? Yeah. Oh, he's going to fast forward to get to the end. What, what is the crazy shake about? Uh, it's, but it's just doing the crazy shake. <laughs> I was doing a little baby crazy shake. A little baby crazy shake. Yeah. Is that crazy shake coming or what? No. There's the crazy shake. You can't see because it's not focusing on it. We're watching Timu Mizumi. No, we're watching the end. Let's all do it. Okay. You do it. Crazy shake. Crazy shake, everybody. I think yeah. Yes, all. I'm feeding Alfie. So we can't really do the crazy shake. You do the t-shirts. With the, with the, with the, with the, On this note, the crazy shake has happened, so it means it's the end of the video, apparently. And this time this cake with music, with, 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 with letters. Yes, but it's the end of the video when the crazy shake is on, isn't it, Owen? Yeah. So, will we say bye-bye to everybody? Bye-bye. See you tomorrow for another vlog. See a bit of some more vlogs and another vlog. Bye. Bye.